Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Royal Stone! We'll see if we can talk some sense into Ranves at the Kingdom of Soar today. Yeah, we kicked their ass for ya. All you guys did was just run away. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Mary's still following us around. Getting kind of creepy, though. I mean, you're not joining our party, you're just kind of stalking us. Maybe she's a spy! No. No. Just kidding. But I remember what she said there for later. Like, in a few minutes, probably. Hey, how's it going? Well, at least he didn't just immediately jump all over me for supposedly murdering the king. So, I guess that's one point in his favor. Man, that empire must have been around for a while then, huh? Oh, yeah, we're not. You're, you're just gonna drop it like that? Unlike everyone else in the game? Use some common sense. What a concept. Oh, hmm. I wonder how that works. Well, we're not going to be able to do stuff with that for a couple more battles, but remember that for later. Got some equipment there, but before we do that, let's head on up here. Oh, oh okay. Is he the guy in charge of the place or something? Thank you. How's it going? Oh. Well, yeah, I suppose not many people knew about it. Well, getting a little bit of slowdown here with so many NPCs on the screen there at once. Oh, what's a lagus? I'm guessing it's another kind of gem or something or other like that. Oh, theirs is the one up top there. Is it like a sapphire or something? I don't know. Well, you didn't really do much. Oh, yeah, most people do that. We're kind of used to it by now. Well, we're not trying to kill you. Oh, really? Right. And soon you will also be sacked. And they keep on coming back for you. They want your stones. Oh, well, yeah, that is true. Yeah, he sure turned around rather quickly, huh? Well, better than another fight against the good guys. Yeah, she's probably just mistaken. I wouldn't worry about that. Uh-oh. Hmm, where's Karasa? What about defending your castle? What if she tries to kill me, though? Again. Oh, yeah, that's true. Get more party members? Sounds like a plan. Thank you. So what else is there? Oh, oh okay. Are we ready to go then? Hmm. We're supposed to talk to someone else, but I'm not entirely sure what the sequence trigger is for that. Maybe I gotta leave and they'll conveniently forget that I tried talking to them before. No? Whoa. A little too slow. How's it going? Oh. Okay, I guess they're not going to uh, talk to us. 
Okay, well then let's uh, get out of here and, uh, well, now it's later. So let's, uh, let's talk to Mary again. Maybe we gotta talk to her in order to progress with the plot. So, eh, darn sequence triggers. One of my greatest foes. But anyway, you talk to her when it's later, and what do we get? The Vestment, the only level 4, or tier 4, armor, or light armor, in the game. And it is really, really, really good. So, let's take a look at that. Vestment, let's give that to one of my bishops there. So, yeah, I mean, look at that! 50 attack power boost and luck. You're gonna get tons of crits with that. Not to mention the defense, too. And it's the only one in the game. Unfortunately, you can never buy multiples of those, so... Yeah, definitely give it to one of your bishops there. And there will be some more stuff that I want to buy in just a moment if I can ever find the other person that I'm supposed to talk to. Let's try that one again. Maybe I just had to leave the castle or talk to Mary or both. I don't know. Okay, good, good. We got it. Hmm? Who's Tor? General Tor? No. No, that's another game. Yeah, she's trying to save the world. What's going on? Mako eyes? No. No. Oh, is he a monster? already got one of those, huh? What's a Kaunin? I don't know. Got all these weird names for gems and stuff. Well, yeah, I am the bearer of truth, I suppose. Gate of Eternity? Where's that? Yeah, that's true. We won't need to worry about it, though. Well, thank you. Not one or two or three, but four. Four stones. So far, we've only got two, though. Well, we're going to leave the other one here, I guess. Where's the fourth one? Or maybe he said it and I just glossed over it. Oh, there's the fourth one, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Hey, hey, all right. More party members. Now, Tor is a magi. So, if you have one of the, uh, what is it, uh, the Grimoire, you could upgrade him to a wizard right now if you wanted to. And I'd probably recommend that you do that because it's generally stronger, but there is another job class that you can unlock from him, and I'm going to save that for later. So, don't, I'm not going to upgrade him to a wizard, but if you want to, you can. So, let's see. Okay, right. we've got the tier 4 spears there now. So, let's get a couple of those. Get a cudgel. And I need six plate armors. Okay, barely had enough of that. Okay. So, let's see what we can do. Let's see, halberd. Now, we could give that to my knight. Or, uh, yeah, my knight there. But we're going to be getting another weapon for her in the near future, so I'm not going to do that right now, but you can if you want. Uh, let's see. Oh, I uh, do need to give the halberd to... Oh, to you. Right, okay. I was thinking of something else for some reason. Uh, it's later on, I think. There's another weapon. 
I was just uh, confused. Okay, let's see. And I want to give this one to the Siren, who I'm going to be using now that I've maxed out my uh, Satyr there. Cudgel, might as well give that to uh, uh, Tor there. Probably won't end up using it, but it's there. Let's see, we got a mantle there, left over from the bishop there, so now we can give that to Tor. Awesome. I don't even have to buy another one. Let's see, Wormclaw, I still want to save for later. Uh, let's see, and the plate armor. So that's the tier 4 armor in the game. We're just a little over halfway into the game, so let's see. Uh, Nico, you definitely want that. Let's see, yep, definitely for Lavelle there. Levels are doing pretty good, so I'm fine with that. Uh, let's see. Scrawl, you want one. And then I'll give it to my two monsters as well. Even though I'm not going to be using Sator immediately, it's still a good idea to uh, give it to him anyway. Okay, now I think I just sell everything except for uh, the worm claw there. So let's see, Harpoon, uh, yeah. Get rid of the staff, don't need any more steel armors. And get rid of that, and okay, we're good. Yeah, I just wanted to wait until we got Tor in order to uh, start buying stuff. I suppose I could have done that in advance, but whatever. So, let's get out of here. Follow after Luminat there. Sounds like a plan. Okay, how's it going? Can we go? Yeah, all right. Okay, so we want our usual melee fighters there. Both bishops, uh, mages, and I'm gonna leave Stater behind. So let's use uh, Siren there. And I'm probably gonna wanna give most of the kills to my Siren, if I can, that is. See, this is why I didn't uh, recruit the uh, the siren earlier in the game because they were like what level six or seven or something like that but we get one here that is already level 10 so yeah we don't really need so that saves us some of the experience lord blair well better watch out for that guy are you guys gonna attack anytime today Man, they got some good loyalty in their crowd. Okay, so, let's move the siren up there. Let's, uh, hmm. I don't want to move too far forward, so... Yeah, try to let the enemies come to me if I can. Maybe get a kill for Nico to get her up to level 10. That might be nice. Okay, move you up there. Let's see, move you there. Oh, you know, I could be, like, scanning these guys and stuff. <laughs> Whoops. Not that it's a big deal. I'll just tell you right now. The majority of the enemies up there are fire elemental. So they're going to have a substantial terrain advantage over us. Not to mention they got a bishop there, I think. Whatever that thing was. So let's try to reveal all their magic users. I think they even got two wizards on their side. Oh no, two magi. My mistake. And let's just scan you a little bit more. Now the reason why I'm holding my characters back like that is because I want the siren to go up there and draw out the enemies so she can get a whole bunch of kills. And the enemies will probably be stupid enough to do it. So, okay. And as much as I can there, let's pass the turn. This is a relatively easy battle. I mean, most of them are fire elemental, but they're like level 2 or 3. <laughs> and most of my party members are at least level 10. So, yeah. But the bosses there are still pretty tough. So, And they got two magi and a uh, bishop there, so... They're not just going to hand it over to us, but, you know... Okay, let's move you up there. Can you guys get down there? Yeah, you could. Hmm. 
Okay, what's... Oh, you know, I can just take a look at one of the other guys. Take a look at you. What's your speed? Okay, you got five, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'd have to move everyone all the way back, and that would be annoying. So, yeah, let's just leave well enough alone. Just, uh, stand pat. And scan some more of these guys. So, get as far as I can, at least. Yeah, I still say, uh... Uh, what is it? Ah! Get out of there. I still say that, uh... Perlis, uh... Looks more masculine to me than feminine. It's the bushy eyebrows, I think. I don't know. I mean, it's not important, but... They never refer to... Perlis is male or female, so I don't know. I have a hard enough time distinguishing genders with modern-day graphics, let alone, you know, 20-year-old graphics. But it's pretty good for its time. Okay, yeah. It's level 13, fire. So, yeah, that'll be uh, fairly tough to take him down, but we can do it. And, okay, yeah, we can get all of the wizards. Well, let's see, the one on the left has fire and flash. So, you want to use a fire elemental character to kill them. And the other one has flash and cold. So, you want to have a wind... Yeah, a wind elemental character kill that one. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, one more scan to do. There we go. And, as always, try to scan the enemies in the back as much as you can, because the other guys will come up first and reveal themselves. Okay, that's all of them, so let's pass and see what we can do. Maybe I can draw a couple of them out, I don't know. We'll see. Ow! Quit it. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Not gonna defend there. But, uh, I'm going to run from this one. Because I want, uh, Siren to get the experience. So, just soften them up. They can't heal all of them at once. Uh-oh. Nuts. Hmm. Maybe I can get him a little hit. He's so low level that even with a disadvantage in the elements, I can still deal some pretty good damage. Alright, good job. Haha. Even though I give her a spear, I suppose that kind of makes sense, being a monster like that. I mean, you would think, you know, like a mermaid or whatever she is, would use a spear as a weapon. So, I just don't know how it works with monsters. Or with uh, the satyr, as I was saying there. Because, like, how is he going to hold a sword? Even the wind elemental monster makes some amount of sense. Well, just soften him up for me. Thank you. And I don't want to risk crit. So I'll just, uh, get out of here. Let the siren do as much of the work as we can. Haha. Uh -huh. You can't touch me. Please don't defend. Thank you. <laughs> clean house. This house is clear, losers. A little bit of experience. It'll add up. Though. Oh well. So I'm probably going to move Siren farther to the left, so that way most of those guys will be able to gang up on her. Oh, yeah, all of them could, theoretically. Finish him! Alright. Probably gonna move Scrawl back out. And have uh, Ava take his place, I think. Hmm. That's a problem. Hmm. Ah, I have an idea. Okay, let's heal you up just a little bit. Rotate my characters out there. 
Yeah, unfortunately, with all the desert terrain, that's going to make it pretty hard for us to move around significantly. But I'm not really worried about, like, when I gave... Uh, what is it? Did you take some damage? No, you didn't. Uh, whatever. But yeah, when I used the sneakers earlier in the game, part of the reason why I did it the way I did uh, is because when you're on battlefields that have well, fire elemental terrain there, you're mostly going to be fighting fire elemental enemies. So even if I did give the sneakers to Scrawl, he wouldn't be able to kill anything anyway. So I figured, yeah, skip the sneakers on him and give them to the other two uh, DPS characters. Okay, just soften them up a little bit. Thank you. Too bad we can't get any uh, multi-targeted healing, but oh well. Stand up, or line up! Single file! I'll give you your death as soon as I can. Man, at least I'm strong enough to be able to kill them without triggering a block or using boost or a special or anything like that. You haven't even gained a level yet? Oh, man. Well, you can at least probably take out the boss. Unfortunately, Siren is not going to be very good against the Magi, because they both have uh, Flash on them. But, oh well. I'll see what I can do. How much more do you need? Uh-oh. Ow. Quit it. Okay, that didn't hurt as much as it sounded. Whoa. Now don't kill him. Not yet, anyway. Oh! Whatever. It's like, what? Ten experience? Yeah, negligible. Um, yeah, I'll go for it. Soften him up. I suggest a feather touch. Oh, right, he blocked. I was like, how did I not kill him accidentally? Yeah, I didn't think about the block there. Okay, good for you. Finish him. Alright, good job. Hey, alright. It's about time. Now, uh, one other thing I wanted to mention was how I have my party set up. Because now, I've got my eight essential party members, what I call the core of my uh, party. With the three uh, DPS characters, then we got the two bishops, the two magi, and... Well, there's one of them's a wizard by now. And Ava. So we got the eight party members there. So basically, what I'm going to do now for the rest of the game is have my ninth party member be, uh, what is it, uh, be the monster, and I'll rotate them out with other monsters periodically. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know, how much HP do you got? Hmm. Let's see, if you go there. Okay, how about I move you out of the way? So that way, that guy will have no choice but to attack my siren if he wants to do something. Yay! And no time for healing. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I thought that would have been a little too much to, uh... Cause him to block there. But, looks like we, uh, got out of it okay. Hooray! Okay, so now I'm gonna move my, uh... I'm going to move LaVale. Oh, which one is this guy? What spells do you got? Okay, so I want my... I want Scrawl to take on that guy, if I can. And let's see. Let's start... Yeah, let's move you out a little bit. How are you doing on HP? 
Okay, we're all doing pretty good. I could try to start a fight with that guy, but... Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. I'll try to lure out the other Magi with that guy. Let's do that. Just sally forth. Yeah, I can't go over the rocks there, even with Earth Elemental characters. There is no, like, Earth Elemental terrain, so to speak, unfortunately. At least not to my knowledge. Uh-oh. Why are you going after her? I would think Ava would have ag been aggroed by that, or some other character who has an element that you can exploit. Maybe they're upset because I killed her dad or something. I don't know. Okay, but anyway, yeah, let's go after you. Nuts. Well, I'm probably going to have to use a skill shot then to bring him down to size. Maybe get another kill for my uh, siren there. Can anyone hit something? I hate missing games like this. It's so luck-based. It shouldn't be based on luck. It should be based on strategy. Well, anyway. Okay, let's use any elemental spell. Doesn't really matter. Dodge this! Okay, good, good. Okay, and now, finish him. Hopefully that'll be enough. Hey, hey, all right. I didn't expect to deal quite that much damage, but got the job done. Maybe I can soften up the other wizard? Maybe, but I'm gonna leave it well enough alone. That's the one who has fire and flash, so. Why did you attack the one guy who you don't have an elemental spell to uh, exploit? Ah, eh, whatever. Uh-oh. Boss time. Uh, okay, let's move you forward to help with the boss. Same thing with the other bishops while we're at it. Soften him up for the siren. There we go. I'm pretty sure Lavelle is a guy. I, I don't know. M maybe I'm, uh... Maybe I'm crazy, but, uh... I don't know. I think the beard kind of gives it away. Okay, now you can finish off that guy. Hopefully, I'll be able to get someone in the back there to take out that bishop before they can do t before the boss can do too much damage. Okay, let's bring you up there. Let's, uh... Wait a minute, who needs the healing? I know Lavelle took some hits, yeah. So you're probably doing fine. Okay, yeah, just Lavelle then. At least he has a lot of HP, unlike the other uh, DPS characters I have. Yeah, usually only monsters can get HP quite that high. Uh, yeah, why don't we heal up the Siren just a little bit? Maybe get my wizards out there to soften up the boss, too. With a good cold spell. Oh, you were almost at max anyway. Let's see, can I hit him? Ha-ha! Nice. Still kind of bothers me that, like, magic users get the best movement range compared to melee characters. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, Tor joined at, like, level 12. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't need to worry about leveling him for a while. Really, I'd like to get most of my party members up to at least level 12 before the end of the game. Some of them I could probably get a little more. Um, okay, yeah, you probably can't kill me with a crit, so maybe just soften up the guy a little. Even if I get a crit, I won't be able to kill him. Just deals, like, double your normal damage or something. Aha! There we go. Well, let's see what I can do. Let's try and soften up that uh, bishop there. Thank you for not healing the boss, by the way. Probably put some instructions out of order in the code or something to not be able to heal after they attack. 
Um, let's go with the skill. Whoa! Okay, we got it. Oh, by the way, the bishop there has the life and sleep spells. So, yeah, when we're gonna take out the boss, we're gonna kinda do it in one go, as much as we can. Let's see, Siren, you can finish him off, can't you? As long as you don't miss. All right. The way Siren attacks, all right. Yeah, it kind of looks like the magic spell. Kind of makes me wonder if the equipment I put on my monsters actually does something. Because, I mean, if they're just casting magic, what good would equipment do for that? So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, she took quite a beat in there, so. I want to try and position my party members so that I can get my siren in to finish the boss off. Let's see. So, yeah, you'll be in range. Okay, I know what I need to do. Um, yeah, let's get in, uh... Hmm. A crit would kill him. So, you know, let's not do that. Change my mind! And just pass. Hmm, if he goes after my magi, that could be bad. Okay, we're still good. Get out of there, Ava. Finish him. Oh, wow. I was a little surprised you could one-shot the guy even with the elemental uh, damage. Because he's so high level. But, alright. Yeah, we're all still in one piece, Kaka. Are we going to do anything? Or... Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure they're fine. I wouldn't worry about them. Oh! Oh, they got their water elemental characters. At least they have some amount of logic. Oh, I'm good! Good! times do we have to kill that guy? Come on, you guys can take him. Oh. Right, he's water elemental too. Ow, quit it. Whoa. Glad I didn't have to fight him. Well, it's about time the good guys start standing up to the Empire. What's the point of leading a rebellion if you can't win? That's without a boost spell. I wish I could get a general on my side, but sadly we cannot. Well, thank you all for lining up single file to your deaths. Whoa! Holy crap! How did you deal so much more damage to that guy? Well, they seem to be holding up pretty well. Ha ha. Couldn't you guys, like, hide it the same way that we did in Martalia? So that they couldn't get a hold of it? Oh, wow. Okay, let's just save here at the end. Uh, they do have a magic shop here, so I'm going to be buying the Tier 2 spells for Procure. How powerful could they possibly be? Find out next time, and let's play Royal Stone! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!